Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to In the Wild with Raymond and Drew. I'm Raymond. And I'm Drew. And today we're going to talk about two things, animals and camera movements. Now, I know what you're thinking. What do these two things have in common? Well, boys and girls, that's exactly what we're going to find out. So let's start by taking a look at the crab. Crabs can be found in most beaches. See how they move to the left? Bring your crab to the left. And to the right. Well, it ain't just crabs that do that. This kind of movement is very similar to what we call a trucking shot in camera movements. Now we do the truck to the, the left. Follow the crab moving left. Now, truck to the right to see the crab moving to the right. See, just the same. Wow. Pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, next, we'll be talking about a giraffe. You can find this majestic animal in the safaris of Africa. Take a look at the magnificent neck. A giraffe extends its neck to feed on the foliage high up in the trees. You can find this movement in a camera studio as well. When a camera pedestals up and down. Let's take a look at that motion one more time. A giraffe pedestals up to feed on the foliage and pedestals down. That's fantastic, right? Now we're going to talk about a lion. The king of the jungle. A lion has a very particular way of hunting. A lion will take its time and stalk its prey. Little by little, the lion will inch closer to make its move. When the time is right, the lion will stay still. Let's dolly in, see? Still as a mouse. Be sure to dolly out because when it's ready, it'll pounce forward. <laughs> Amazing, right? Yeah. Good thing we dollied out. It should be safe to dolly in now. All right, moving on. The next animal of our showcase is the elephant. Whoa. <laughs> Known for its wisdom and large size, an elephant tramples through the grasslands of Africa. When an elephant is feeling playful, it flails its long trunk by tilting its head up and down. A camera studio can tilt up and down just the same. Let's see how it's done. Tilt the camera up. Now tilt down. Perfect. That's awesome. But now, as you know, some animals are smaller than others. This is probably going to be the smallest animal we're going to have on the show today. What is it? It's a frog. <coughs> Frogs can be found near ponds or other bodies of water. But since they're small, you have to have a good eye to spot them. To get a good look, let's zoom into this frog I'm holding. <coughs> ah, see? Small and cute. Now let's zoom out. And lastly, we're going to talk about the owl. The owls are usually found in the shadows of the night, usually in wooded areas or even a barn. When they're not flying, owls are usually very, very still. And when they hear a noise nearby, they pan their head to the right oh, and to the left. As you can see, a camera, uh, camera moves the same way. Now let's give it a go. Pan to the left. And pan to the right. Perfect. Nice. Yeah. Well, boys and girls, that's all the animals we have for today. We've learned about their movements and how they resemble camera motion in a television studio. We learned about trucking left and right. Dollying in and dollying out. Panning left, panning right. Now that's a lot. <laughs> You've been watching Into the Wild with Raymond and Drew. Thank you for joining us today. We, we hope, hope you have, have a wild, wild day. day.